The manhua begins with the main character named Zhao Han, who can no longer bear the burden in his life and is about to leave this cruel world. Suddenly, the guy received a notification on his phone. He took it out of his pocket and reads the message. He realized that this was an invitation to some kind of game, but he knew that he wouldn't wait for it. You can see how Zhao Han is trying to gain strength. He continues to stand on the edge of this roof and seems to want to leave this world as soon as possible, but it is very difficult for him to do this right now. While the guy was standing on the edge of the roof and thinking about something, some strange sounds attracted his attention. He decides to turn around to check what it really is. Turning around, the guy notices a certain strip, which means loading, for example, a map like in video games, and everything around suddenly glitches, as if there was some kind of glitch in the matrix. The main character, drawing attention to this strange picture, became slightly worried. He does not understand what is happening around him right now and continues to look around excitedly, trying to understand what it is. Due to excitement, the guy's legs, which were already functioning poorly, began to shake violently. Because of this, he stumbled and, since he was standing on the edge of the roof, immediately began to fall down. While the guy was flying down, he had already resigned himself to his fate. And while in flight, he noticed how the building on which he was standing began to disappear, and another building appeared in its place. Zhao Han notices all these strange things that are happening around him. He does not understand what it all means and begins to think that these are hallucinations before death. Then he suggested that this may be rebirth. After a few seconds of free flight, the main character has already crashed to the ground. Meanwhile, you can see how the city has changed a lot after this time. Various monsters and new buildings have appeared all around. Surprisingly, it turned out that when Zhao Han hit the ground, he did not die at all. He turned out to be alive and was even able to get to his feet. He feels a little pain, and among the clouds of dust, you can see an unusual figure. The guy is very surprised that he actually survived, but he will be even more surprised when he finds out that he is no longer the same person he was before. He has turned into a huge white tiger. Zhao Han, trying to look at his hand, saw a paw instead, so he decided to look into his reflection to make sure what had happened to him. Looking there, he was very surprised. It can be seen that the main character is very shocked. He completely opened his large mouth and screams in his surprise because he turned into a tiger. Apparently falling from the roof, he expected a different outcome. Zhao Han excitedly begins to examine himself to make sure that he has not died. As he examines himself, he begins to think that perhaps his soul has been transferred to a video game. While the guy was trying to understand what was happening to him, his attention was attracted by a certain error system, which jumped out in front of him and let him know that it had already been activated, so this tiger could safely use it. The system asks the owner not to panic, because he did not die, but was transferred to a game called a Contract of Destruction, and this is a system of errors that got out of the control of the game. The guy is very surprised by this. The Chinese chat GPT tells the tiger that if he doesn't believe it, he can look around. Because the game has merged with the real world, you can see strange buildings standing all around and huge dragons flying in the sky. We are shown three people who are well-dressed and armed. Meanwhile, the system makes it clear to the main character that in this game, everyone has their own purpose in accordance with the character's skills. The guy, looking at what is happening, believes that he should have become a pumped up swordsman and does not understand why the hell he is a white tiger. The sister tells him that this is all because he discovered an additional bonus. The system says that the guy's level is first, but his agility skill is an order of magnitude higher than that of other players. And then Zhao Han realized that his current body is much better than the previous one, and apparently this is for the better. You can see how the white tiger begins to rejoice greatly. Although it sounds ridiculous, he is now in wild delight. He laughs with joy and says that God is very merciful for giving him a second life. Next, the happy Zhao Han says that this time he wants to wash away the shame of his past life by winning glory with blood. Meanwhile, lightning flies straight at this loser from heaven. It can be seen that lightning has already struck him. He began to glow so much that you can even see his skeleton. It is obvious that Zhao Han realized that in this game, everything would not be so simple for him. The system asks for forgiveness from the burnt tiger because it forgot to remind that the game launches self-control, which will constantly strike it with lightning. So the main character needs to take action. The white tiger looks very angry. Being furious, he grabs this system because he does not understand why he is telling him about this right now. The frightened system tells him that he had no choice because otherwise he could die from lightning. The system decides to help the guy in whatever way it can. It says that there are only two ways to avoid being struck by lightning. This is either to find a magician and conclude a contract with him or to become players of human origin again. But it is not clear how. Meanwhile, while the main character was talking with the system, new lightning began to form in the sky. 
They together drew attention to this. The system realized that it seemed too late to look for the magician. Next, you can see how when poor Jean Kanya begins to fly another lightning bolt, he just stands still. Because he can't do anything, he just looks at her and waits for her to hit him again. It can be seen how this very lightning has already come close enough. The lightning of the lightning has even begun to reflect from the white fur of the tiger. He continues to look at it and is upset that he has only just started and is already facing difficulties. A moment later, the lightning overtook the poor tiger. It was clear that the blow was a little harder than the previous one. Smoke rose all around and there was a certain flash of light, which means something, but it is not yet clear what. We see Zhao himself, Hanya. Everything seems to be fine with him, but one gets the feeling that he is now suffering severe pain. Judging by the way he begins to glow, one can say that he seems to be moving somewhere. The main character, along with his system, was transferred from a gloomy and dark city to a bright and calm forest. They both look tired and are still standing thinking about what happened to them a few minutes ago. Xiao Han again begins to examine himself. He was again surprised because he did not die and understands that he was reborn again. The system says that in order to save him, he had to spend all the energy of the system. So now it needs a break. The system tells the owner that because of this, he will have to rely on himself. Meanwhile, the guy looks in horror into the dark part of the forest, in which he can see a bunch of red eyes of dangerous creatures, ready to tear this newcomer to pieces. Two predators come out from there. Each of them has only the first level, but they are so confident in themselves as if they could kick anyone's ass, although they are nothing of themselves. However, our white tiger is at the very first level. He does not understand why the system moved him here. Because I can go to a safe place, the system says that there was no time left to think. Then the brave main character decides to take the fight. Because there is nowhere to run, he reaches for his sword, because he understands that he is good at fencing. So these first level losers are not a hindrance to him. The determined Zhao Han, who has already managed to take out his sword and holding it out in front of him, is waiting for these mobs to carry out their attack first, so that he can then show these dogs who is boss here. However, to the great surprise of the white tiger, he discovered that his blade had disappeared somewhere and only the handle remained. Zhao Han looked very scared, because now he did not know how to repel his enemies. Meanwhile, one of the enemies got close enough. With a ferocious look, the predator rushes at the main character, and the tiger, in turn, looks at him with a frightened look and thinks what can be done. Of course, the dexterous protagonist was able to dodge this attack. He, removing his handle, believes that there is only deception all around. Even the equipment leaves much to be desired, so apparently, he will have to fight with his hands. Zhao Han somehow managed to draw his sword, and as he was about to launch his attack, he said that he would like to report to the police about serious fraud on the part of the gaming company. The White Tiger strikes directly at the blunt head of the first enemy, from which he flew several meters away. Then the Tiger decides to switch directly to the second and hit him in the same way. Later, he decided to toast the buns of the third enemy. You can see how one of the predators, who was previously full of confidence that he could defeat the main character, is right now lying on the ground and regrets that he even dared to climb the Zhao Hanya. After a short battle, the white tiger stands on the mountain of lifeless bodies of his enemies and simply stands on them, trying to seem cool, thereby showing who is the strongest here, so that everyone is now afraid of him. Zhao Han looks very happy. He is glad that his agility has improved, which is why he was able to easily reach the fifth level, which means that our newcomer was able to become stronger in this dangerous video game. Suddenly, a guy with a serious face decides to look back. Apparently, he remembered something important and is going to do what he thinks he should do. The tiger with the sword remembered that he had not yet seen the boss, and he must be hiding somewhere. So he jumped off his enemies and rushed to search for him, because defeating the boss would bring generous results. After some time of this search, the main character notices some dark silhouette, but this fool did not even try to see who it was, and simply jumped on him with his sword, promising to finish him off. It turned out that the boss had gone to play Valorant, and this silhouette turned out to be a cute pink-haired girl with a stick. When she saw this formidable kitten, she began to cry and tried to call someone for help. As he approached, the main character realized that this was not a boss, but only a helpless girl. He was surprised what she was doing alone in the forest, and although he recognized her late, he put away his sword in time, of course. Better late than never. Although this tiger put away his sword, he still cannot fly, so he fell with all his huge weight directly on the helpless girl, who at that moment was numb with horror when she saw the tiger with a sword. You can see how this fool fell and continues to lie right on the girl. While hugging her tightly, it seems he decided to take advantage of the moment, and the girl looks very surprised. Zhao Han himself is in shock, and apparently he was embarrassed, because right now he was pressing his face into the girl's juicy melons, 
They locked eyes, and after all this, the girl blushed with embarrassment. In the next chapter, we see how the main character suddenly realized that this pink-haired girl was not 18 years old, so he jumped away from her in horror, pretending that he didn't really like her. After some time, the two just remain silent and stand in front of each other. The shocked, pink-haired girl looks straight at the tiger, who is now trying to clear his throat and, apparently, is about to say something. Having carried out a whole ritual to gain confidence, the white tiger stood in a confident pose in front of the girl, and holding out his paw, asked if everything was okay with her. She, in turn, began to scream and asks for his forgiveness, saying that she did not intend to follow him. The girl knelt down and said that she was only here to conclude a contract with the beast and did not want to offend him, so she asks not to kill. The system reports that this girl is a strong magician of the fifth rank. Zhao Han looks at this magician, very puzzled. He thought about what the phrase to conclude a contract could mean. He also remembered that the system told him something about this. Next, the system, taking advantage of the moment, gives the white tiger his first task. He must conclude a contract with the magician within one minute. As a reward, he will be able to jump directly to the 10th level. This information made Zhao happy Hanya because he only needs to conclude a contract. By completing the task, he can not only receive a reward, but also avoid lightning strikes, so he will kill two birds with one stone. This genius believes that he needs to show his good side in front of her in order to gain her trust, so he stands in a strange pose and tells her that he is exactly the wild animal she is looking for, and he is free. Next, this crazy person, wanting to show her all his love, decides to come up without warning and hug her. Pressing his muzzle into the large cannonballs, it's clear that she doesn't really like it and wants to leave as quickly as possible. After this, Zhao Han decides to kneel down and take this beautiful lady's hand to kiss her. He also invites her to enter into a contract with him right here and now. Unexpectedly, while the tiger was kissing the hand of a beautiful girl, he smelled her, and his instincts of a predator awoke in him. He liked the aroma of snow white and tender meat. You can see how his gaze became crazy. Of course, the pink-haired girl couldn't help but turn her attention to how this tiger was sniffing her hand with appetite, so when she saw his crazy look, she became scared, but she still remains silent. The white tiger decides to let go of her hand, and you can see how he continues to walk with his crazy face, thinking that today she will become his lunch. The girl still looks scared, as if she had watched the movie Saw 4. Next, Zhao Han recuts all his acting skills and asks her to become his mistress. In his head, he considers himself just an excellent actor, but he is also fluffy and handsome, so she will definitely like it. However, this sweet girl was tired of enduring all this because she was not satisfied with his acting skills, so unexpectedly for the main character, she simply slapped him with a scream, from which he flew back. You can see how the tiger continues to roll on the ground, and while he is distracted, the girl decides to start immediately leaving this place. You can see how she is afraid and tries to call for help so that she can be saved from him. Meanwhile, the tiger had already begun to come to his senses. When he woke up, he noticed how this girl was running away from him as fast as she could. The main character was a little sad because he thought that she didn't like his cute and fluffy body. And then Zhao Han thought he tensed slightly because he doesn't know what to do yet. After talking with her a little, he realizes that her trust will not be so easy to win, so he will have to try. Without thinking too much, this Einstein came up with an idea. He just used the hilt of his sword and plucked up the courage to simply thrust it into his leg like a real Sigma, thereby injuring himself and going to do something else. After he wounds his leg, the tiger decides to try again to use his acting skills. He begins to scream throughout the forest that he is wounded, and his screams are heard by a pink-haired girl. She made a difficult decision and decided to return to him because she felt sorry for him. He was spinning around on the ground and said that if some beautiful magician wanted to tame him, he would not be able to fight back, hinting at her. Seeing this strange picture, the face of the pink-haired magician changed from frightened to more serious. She raised her magic stick and approached the main character and realized that this was a good opportunity to catch the tiger demon. Zhao Han, who continues to lie on the ground holding his leg, all this time has his back turned to this girl. He noticed how she approached him, and since she does not see his face, he smiles slyly because his plan is working. Next, the girl nevertheless decided to carry out her ritual. She approached the tiger close enough to let him know that she was starting and entering into a contract with the spiritual beast. Some kind of purple web appeared in front of her. Apparently, the white tiger got what he wanted from the very beginning. The system notifies about the successful conclusion of the contract, and all the owner's skills are increased because of him. And this simply cannot but rejoice. 
Next, you can see how the girl hugs the tiger, calming him down. The system gives statistics on this magician, and we find out her name. Her name is Gao Dazhuang, and she is now his owner. The system also shows Zhao statistics Hanya. Chinese chat GPT decides to contact the main character again. He congratulates him on the successful completion of the mission, and for this, he is rewarded with a bronze experience card, which will help him very well in the future. The main character received this card in his hands. He is glad that he was able to complete this task, but does not show much emotion. Meanwhile, Gao Dazhuang is happy that she now has a spirit beast. Despite the fact that Zhao Han was still able to complete this task by concluding a contract with the magician, looking at his leg, he remembers how he had to pay a high price. Namely, he had to injure himself. While the girl was happy about her new pet, she remembered that he was injured, seeing how he was looking at his leg, so she decided to approach him and, showing all her care, heals him. Surprisingly, this deep wound from which a lot of blood flowed healed very quickly, only with the help of this magician's touch. Apparently, she has good abilities. After this, the tiger was able to successfully get to his feet. He is surprised that this wound never happened, and there is not even a scar left. The girl says that the wound was not deep, so he can quickly recover. Zhao Han thanked Gao for his help Da Zhuang, smiling realizes that after concluding a contract, they can get acquainted with information about each other. He experiences a rather strange feeling, because he is no longer alone. The happy pink-haired girl tells the thoughtful main character that it's time for them to go to a new place, due to the fact that the tiger was in his thoughts. At first, he did not understand what she was talking about. Suddenly, the smile on the girl's face disappears. She decides to repeat her proposal this time louder so that he can hear exactly, and also says where exactly they are going. This place turned out to be the dungeon of the ancestral temple. She begins to explain the whole situation, and says that her best friend disappeared into the dungeon, and she wants to find her. And for this, she needed a spiritual beast. She is very worried about her, and really wants to help her. Zhao Han understood this girl. He immediately realized that this was the temple of Karen, and said that he knew him well. The tiger guaranteed that with him she could find her friend. These words pleased her greatly. It was immediately clear that she had found the right companion. He decides to talk about how he took first place in the north and, apparently, is very proud of it. The pink-haired one does not understand which north we are talking about and what first place. The tiger says that there is no need to bother. Events are transferred to the Temple of Karen. We see a bunch of armed people. The red-haired guy with the spear thinks it's surprising that this game is too realistic. The guy with the shield says that he wouldn't believe it if it weren't for personal experience. Suddenly, some gates begin to open in front of these people. You can see some cracks running along them, which begin to glow. It seems that something important or dangerous is hiding behind them. The girl with the bow warns the others that the gate will soon open, and only 15 people can enter there. Initially, she was going to invite another friend, but suddenly changed her mind because of this. Now there is not enough person. The guy with the sword turns to the red-haired guy named Long Zhonghan, he decides to ask him what they should do next, because he organized the campaign and must answer the question. He thought about the answer. Meanwhile, the whole group hears someone's voice who, turning to them, asks if he can join. Turning around, people see the main character together with Gao Dazhuang, who also want to get into the dungeon. The girl with the bow was very surprised to see a magician of the fifth level. The guy remains calm and says that her level is too low. In order to join their team, they accept players no lower than the eighth level. Long Zhang Han approaches the girl with the tiger and extends his hand to her. Despite the fact that she has a low level, he still plans to take her to the team because they do not have enough people, so now everything is fine. After the lucky girl was accepted into the team, before Zhao Hanum, a system pops up and asks him if he wants to join the team. He agreed and realized that compared to the rest, he has a low level. Despite the fact that the people he joined have a higher level than his, this tiger did not lose heart. He only understands that he has not yet demonstrated all his abilities, so he may be even better than them. While all these people were having their dialogue, the gates of Karen's temple begin to open. One of the group members noticed this and decided to attract the attention of the others so that they would also see and prepare to enter. Long Zhang Han, like a real boss, ordered his friends to enter. But it is worth paying attention to the new ones and doing everything possible so that they do not die. The group members listened to him and will do as he said. Then the whole group entered this temple. A gloomy atmosphere reigns here. Zhao Han looks surprised and considers the appearance of this clan very impressive. But seeing statues around, he decides to clarify with the more experienced what they mean. The main character believes that these statues are similar to game sculptures, and we are shown four of these statues, and from left to right, there is a magician, a mad warrior, 
a fortune teller, and at the very end, there is a knight. Continuing to look at these mysterious statues, the White Tiger realized that these were not just statues, but seven specializations. We are also shown three more of them. From left to right, there are a demon hunter, an elf hunter, and a holy angel. Meanwhile, while Zhao Han continued to look at the statues, the entire group silently continued to walk forward until a certain purple portal lit up in front of them. Perhaps it was a threat, so they all stopped. After some time in this portal, it became possible to see dozens or even hundreds of red eyes of creatures who, apparently, were hostile to these wanderers. The red-haired man peered into this portal, and seeing red eyes there, he realized that things were bad because monsters were starting to attack, so he warned the whole group about this so that they were ready. You can see how those same monsters begin to crawl out of the large portal. It turns out that they are all dead and are just walking skeletons, but all these monsters are of the eighth level. The guy with the shield notices all these monsters coming out of the portal and are determined to kick all their butts. So he warns the group to be ready. Another person tells the magician to move away with the tiger. When the main character and the girl move to a safe distance, they began to watch how this whole group of brave people attacked the monsters. They realized that they were valued and protected here. Watching this picture, the tiger thought, it seems strange to him that the monsters used to look like goblins and now they are skeletons. Apparently that many changes have happened in the game. The red-haired leader, right now delivering his powerful blow to one of the monsters, remains calm all this time and tells the rest of his group to ensure that the formation is maintained. Meanwhile, a very scary situation happened. A strange monster suddenly jumps out of the portal at the girl with a bow, which looks like a monster from the movie Alien. You can see how he is going to tear the girl apart. This monster apparently turned out to be stronger than those with which the entire group had fought before. He quickly ran up to the archer and dealt her a strong blow to the stomach, causing her to start spitting blood. After this blow, the girl flew several meters back. The monster didn't have enough of that blow on this girl, so he decides to add one more and is already accelerating straight towards her. Having again overtaken the archer, this monster decided not to spare her and immediately show what it was capable of. So when it reached the girl, it jumped high up and flattened the girl's head with all its weight. This monster, making sure that he had finished off the girl, paid attention to the other people in this room. He began to strike them with his blows, and they only asked for help from someone. The white tiger and the girl watched this from the side. Next, the red-eyed monster, after kicking the butts of many in this room, turned his attention to Zhao Hanya with Gao Da Zhuang. He decided to deal with them, that's why he attacked, which scared the girl. In the next chapter, we can see a large cloud of smoke. Apparently, this level 10 monster has already overtaken our characters, and it may feel like he is kicking their ass. However, after some time, we learn that the main character and the girl managed to escape from the monster at the last moment. The monster itself did not expect this. It just stands and looks at the place where they were last time. After thinking for a while, the red-eyed man felt some movement behind him and turns around to see what's there. Obviously, he realizes that Zhao Han is there with the magician, and he already wants to finish what he started. We again see a very serious protagonist with a frightened Gao Dezhuang. They both remained unharmed because the tiger's agility made it possible to dodge the blow and at the same time save this magician. Continuing to hold the pink-haired girl in his arms, the white tiger decides to inquire about her condition. She is surprised that she remained unharmed at all, but says that she is fine and thanks for her help. Xiao's speed and maneuverability. Hanya, they saw how he dodged the fatal blow of the 10th level. They already doubt that he is even at the 5th level. Next, we again see the monster, who decided that he was being put into an awkward position right now. So this loser lost his temper and accelerated towards the main character, leaving a deep crack on the floor. The pink-haired girl drew attention to the hostile attitude of the monster. She reacted instantly and sharply turns to her pet, and trying to attract his attention, tells him to be careful. But Wu Zhao... Having everything under control, he took out the bronze level card, which he had previously obtained while completing the task, and with a decisive attitude, he immediately decided to activate it in order to defeat the enemy. While the main character gets stronger from leveling up, he resembles Gao Da Zhuang that he promised her to find her best friend, so he will definitely keep his promise. The system lets him know that the bronze experience card has been activated, and the owner's level has been raised to 10. You can see how the tiger has become larger and has a thick mane, now this mountain of muscles can become a model. Chinese GPT chat says that the owner has reached the 10th level, so the appearance of the demon lord is activated. Meanwhile, the monster has already gotten close enough, and despite the guy's level, is about to strike. 
The system reminds you of successful activation, after which the white tiger on steroids, noticing how the enemy is already close, immediately switches to him and, grabbing him, lets him know that he will kick his skinny ass. Meanwhile, Long Zhonghan, just like his entire group, are in shock, because the main character has risen to level 10. They remember how worried they were for their safety, and now they need to think about their own. A serious tiger deals a heavy blow right to the monster's blunt head. The tiger does not understand how he even dared to attack his owner, so for such bad actions he will now punish him. The main character considers the monster stupid, and this is not surprising. From the next powerful blow, the monster flies back several tens of meters. He is simply helpless, and you can see how his health bar is rapidly decreasing. It seemed to be filled with rage at the fact that the monster made his friend suffer, and he continues to strike him with his series of blows, as if he were some kind of punching bag. From the next blow directly to the stomach, a huge orange beam is formed behind the monster. Apparently this is a fiery beam formed from the force of the blow of this white tiger. It can be understood that Zhao Han did not spare his strength one bit. He hit the monster so hard that he flew away so hard that, rubbing against the floor, he left a deep, long mark in him and even the wall did not stop him. Meanwhile, the whole group is still in shock from the more capable tiger. Red-haired believes that they entered the wrong world. They already believe that Zhao Han came from the world of the powerful, but they also think that this is all cool. The satisfied tiger, after such an easy fight for him, decides to inspect the area and is surprised to find some equipment in the form of a strange golden diamond and is about to pick it up. Taking it in his hands, this strong man begins to examine it with a smart look. Gao Dazhuang also noticed this thing, and having examined it, considers this diamond to be very beautiful. Zhao Han sees that this is an S-rank item, and it is auxiliary. With the help of it, the tiger will be able to hide his real data, showing other fake ones. For the main character, this all sounds good. While the tiger was inspecting the characteristics, they were attacked by a bunch of level 8 monsters. The mage girl doesn't know what they will do, and our Sigma asks her to step away and leave him, because he can deal with them. The girl heard the main character and still decided to leave him. She asks him to be careful, and Long Zhong Han, seeing how the girl hesitates, asks her not to stand but to run up to them as soon as possible. Gao Da Zhuang ran up to them. The whole group noticed how Zhao Da Han Yu has a hard time and asked the leader if they should help him. The red-haired one, in turn, understands that they cannot help in any way, because there are many enemies. We are again shown our beloved main character. Right now, he begins to be illuminated by some kind of energy, and one of the monsters, apparently the bravest of the remaining ones, decides to attack him. Later, the rest of his friends also join this one mob. Meanwhile, Zhao Han remains calm and very confident in his abilities. He simply continues to stand still and wait for the right moment. Next, you can see how thousands of monsters simply buried the main character with a pile of their bodies. The group watching this is trying to call the tiger by name and are very worried about him. After this, to the surprise of everyone and even the monsters who already thought they had won, they see from Zhao Hanya, who is buried under a mountain of bodies, rays of light begin to emanate. Apparently, it is his turn to attack. Because of this light, all the mobs around began to fly away in different directions, and their body parts began to tear off from them and also fly far away. The monsters realized that it was a bad time for them. It turned out that this time the white tiger was really able to get his fiery sword. He jumped high up, cut one of the mobs in half. The system notified him that he received 100 experience for killing a level 8 monster. Apparently, such a small gift was very pleasant for the main character, so he begins to chop more and more monsters, just like cabbage, in order to gain more experience and protect his friends. After some time, he cut down even more monsters, and for each of them, Zhao Han receives a hundred experience. This is very useful for him, because he can become stronger. After chopping down these bad creatures, the main character feels like he was able to farm a large amount of experience from them. He thinks that this is all very cool because he hasn't fought like this for a long time and already misses it. Next, the system notifies Zhao. Knowing that his level has been raised to 11, the guy feels that he has become much stronger, and he thinks that this is just great, because he will be able to defeat stronger enemies. The tiger realized that he would not need the sword for now and put it back behind his back. He realized that only the overlord could use this blade. It turns out that he misunderstood the developer. The white tiger again looks at his statistics on the interface. He has an S rank skill. His speed is 30, agility 35, strength 23, health 299, magic 18, and level of course 11. The group watches the main character. They are surprised how he can be so strong. They apparently misunderstood something and do not understand how the pet rose from level 5 to 11. Obviously, they were mistaken. 
Gao Dajuang approaches Zhao Hanyu and is also surprised that his level has increased again. He heard her and says that in addition to this, he apparently has an additional active skill of S rank. The main character is very pleased with himself and his strength. He turns to the pink-haired one and touches her cheek, just like a child, smiling. He says that everything is fine and asks if she is no longer afraid. The pink-haired girl begins to nod her head left and right and asks the tiger not to worry. Because how can she be afraid for her life, as such a strong spiritual beast is always next to her? After some time, Zhao's attention Kanya is attracted by something. He turns around until he understands what it is, and the pink-haired one, also paying attention to it, begins to assume that these are monsters coming again. The whole group noticed a bright flash of light. It is so bright that they think they will go blind. Some even feel a terrible force ahead and already think that more dangers await them ahead. Suddenly, from this bright light, some strange female figure begins to form. She continues to glow so that her face cannot yet be seen. She turns to these adventurers and is glad that they have finally met. A few seconds later, a whole girl appeared in front of the group. She introduced herself as the goddess Karen and said that she had been waiting for them here for thousands of years. She congratulates them and makes it clear that they can ask a wish for her to fulfill. People saw this creature. Long Zhonghan was very surprised that a whole goddess appeared in front of them, and his friend remained calm. He was worried that there would be danger, but it turned out that there was no danger. The white tiger, judging by his emotions, is not at all surprised by the appearance of this goddess. Just like some others from this group, he only noticed that the Karen temple has become completely different. While they were discussing the events that had happened, the goddess decided to tell them a couple of rules that they must follow before making their wish. Firstly, you should not make too many wishes. Zhao Han still listens to the goddess. He hears her talking about one more rule. That is, you can't make something that harms this world. And the third rule is you can't make other wishes that violate general norms. Gao Dajuang decides to take advantage of the moment, and turning to the goddess, she would like to know where her friend Mo is Xiaoya, and whether she could fulfill one of her wishes. The goddess listened to the girl. Visible on the goddess's face, Making it clear to the girl that she Xiaoya became her believer, now she is in the church in the city of Bru. There is no need to worry about her safety, because everything is fine with her. The pink-haired girl listened carefully to the information from the woman. She was very happy with what she heard, and even began to shed tears of happiness. She was very glad that everything was okay with her friend, because she was very worried. Next, someone from the group decides to make a wish from the goddess Karen for a set of the best equipment. From what they heard, the rest of the group members also joined in, and a chain reaction began. Now every person wants to make a wish. The lilac-haired girl listened to the first wish from the first guy. She considered his desire quite reasonable, and said that it would be fulfilled, and she immediately waved her magic wand. You can see how the guys who made a wish got what they wanted. They are now wearing new equipment of the highest rank. They are very happy and surprised at the same time, and cannot believe what is happening. One of the group members, who is also now wearing cool armor, screamed at the top of his voice with joy. He is laughing. Because in addition to the armor, he has two new attributes added. Next, Zhao Han understands that now it is his turn to make wishes. So he, turning to the goddess Karen, says that he also wants to make something. He tells her that he wants to become a human again. Great joy is visible in the eyes of the main character. He understands that the goddess Karen is capable of fulfilling almost any desire. So this is his chance to become a full-fledged player, and this chance should not be missed under any circumstances. In the next chapter, we again see the goddess who has listened to the desire of the protagonist and calmly begins to evaluate his desire in order to understand whether it was worth fulfilling or not. Zhao Han expects this. After some time, the goddess appreciated the desire and said Zhao Han Yu that it will be fulfilled. She begins to perform it, and the white tiger realizes that this is great luck for him and greatly rejoices at what is happening. Next, you can see how this tiger finally turned into a nice guy. He is very happy, because happiness surged too suddenly, and he was finally able to become a man again as he wanted. After the wish was fulfilled, the face of the goddess Karen suddenly became somehow strange. She looks thoughtfully at the guy, and one gets the feeling that something very terrible is about to happen. The white-haired guy didn't particularly pay attention to her face. He says that apparently he didn't transform completely. That is, she didn't return him to his old appearance and he wants to find out from her what's the matter. Suddenly, the goddess's face became crazy and began to fill with blood. She says that the desire is too difficult, so everything will come to an end. Even the system turned red and warned of danger. The goddess is revising the desire. 
No one expected this, but the goddess began her transformation. She flew higher through the air and apparently now a bad time will come for this entire group of people, and they should prepare. Zhao Han finally noticed the very strange behavior of this goddess. He became worried about Da Zhuang, so he turned around and warned her about the danger and asked her to be careful. Apparently the guy thought that simply warning the girl about the impending danger would not be enough, so he decides to jump right on her, knock her to the floor and cover her with his strong body. After the guy threw the girl to the ground, the two of them took a very suspicious position. The white-haired one asks Da Zhuang if she is okay, and the pink-haired one turns her attention to something and says that everything is fine. Next, the girl noticed that Zhao Han had finally become a man and was very happy for him. The main character says that this is so, but he still has animal ears. While the two were having their dialogue lying on the ground, they heard cries of help from the rest of the group. Near them, they can see how the goddess turned into a witch and stuck her staff straight into the poor guy's head. The guy, who had a sharp staff stuck into his head, begins to bleed from all the cracks. Right now, his skull is broken and one can say that he is finished, but he still asks for help from his comrades. The rest of the group did not expect such a turn of events. Seeing this cruel scene, they cannot understand what happened to the queen, because recently she was kind, they do not yet know what to do. Long Zhang Han, like a real Giga Chad and leader, did not lose his temper in this situation. He took a fighting stance and told his comrades that they must work together to kill this witch, otherwise they would be finished. After this, the red-haired daredevil decides to attack this giant first. The witch, in turn, only calmly looks at this insect, because she understands that he will not be able to do anything to her anyway. Long Zhonghan noticed how he had already gotten close enough to her. He started shouting menacingly in her direction, looked straight at her and was about to strike her with a strong blow so that she knew her place. However, this abnormal woman has everything under control. She waited for the right moment, simply raised her huge hand and pushed the red-haired man away from her with just one movement, from which he fell to the ground. It's clear that this witch is not going to feel sorry for anyone, so she raised her huge foot and pointed it at one of the group members, intending to crush him just like some kind of insect. The guy with the big sword smelled the disgusting smell of blue cheese from her feet, so looking up and covered in her shadow, the guy believes that this is the end for all of them, and they cannot defeat such an enemy. Next, you can see how the witch mercilessly crushed the helpless guy. She stepped on him so hard that even the stone floor broke, and the debris began to fly in different directions, and a hole also formed there. After the red-eyed witch dealt with many, she turned her attention to the main character. He looks at her and does not yet understand what to do. He considers it unscientific, because the games change randomly. Zhao Han, even in such a dangerous situation, does not forget about Gao Da Zhuang and is always ready to protect her. She turns to Zhang Hanyu and tells him that it would be better to run away, because this witch is very scary and strong. Apparently, the guy agreed with her opinion, and they were about to run away together, but the system decided to troll the white-haired man and, taking advantage of the moment, decided to give him a new mission. The guy tensed slightly. The system gave a task where Zhao Han will have to finish off the goddess Karan, he will receive the body of the ruler for this. The guy is surprised that the system woke up, and she says that she should have woken up at the most dangerous moment. The system talks about the value of the reward for completing the mission, and when leaving wishes the guy good luck. He looks very scared and does not understand why she is leaving at the most critical moment. He cannot understand her behavior. The main character then realizes that he doesn't have much of a choice, so he musters up his resolve, pushes the pink-haired girl aside from him, and is going to have a tough fight with the goddess. And the goddess, in turn, does not waste time. She just clenched her huge fist and dealt a crushing blow right to Zhao Hanyu. His facial expression shows how he realizes the complexity of the fight with her. You can see how after this blow, this loser flew tens of meters back, after which he crashed into a wall at high speed. The goddess, after the blow, just looks at this helpless fool. Gao Dezhuang noticed how her friend was hit, and what the consequences of this are now. He looks straight into the pile of smoke that formed after the guy broke through the wall and calls him by name, trying to find out if he is alive. Fortunately, it turned out that Zhang Han is alive. He comes out of this thick smoke, but you can see how his health bar has decreased by a quarter. Unfortunately for him, he realizes all its power and believes that it is at least level 25. The pink-haired girl saw the guy's condition. She runs up to the guy with her stick and asks him not to move because she is going to heal him. Despite the fact that she is healing him, she continues to consider herself useless. While the girl is trying to treat the main character, this white-haired Sigma realizes that if he falls in the same way again, this time he will definitely be able to say goodbye to life, so he needs a way out. 
Meanwhile, the huge goddess is not wasting any time. She is not going to spare those who play League of Legends. So clenching her fist, she is going to deliver an additional blow to the white-haired one. From the sly smile on this witch's face and the way she laughs, you'd think she thinks she's already won since these kids can't do anything to her. Right now, her fist will reach them. The main character and the magician still continue to stand still. Gao Dajuan continues to faithfully treat the guy, hoping that he will win the battle. And meanwhile, looking at this giant, he understands that he needs to cheat. Zhao Han and the girl continue to stand under this giant, despite the huge fist moving towards them. It seems that the main character has some kind of plan and is going to apply it. Suddenly, the guy seems to start to burn. Even despite this huge fist, he continues to stand in one place, having already begun to implement his cunning and ingenious plan. From the outside, you can see and get the feeling that the goddess has already managed to strike her blow. Some kind of explosion is visible under her fist, and you may get the feeling that Zhao Hanyu and Gao Dezhuang is very bad now. In the next chapter, you can see how the fist of the goddess came very close to the main character with the girl. The guy seemed to be looking straight into the face of his death without fear, and the pink-haired one seemed to have resigned herself to fate. Unexpectedly, the goddess noticed that the guy's level suddenly rose to 120. Because of this, she was very scared, and removing her fist, said that she did not understand what was happening here and how this could happen. It turned out that Zhao Han used the stealth stone to change his data. He did not think that she would fall for the trick. He saw her fear, decides to put pressure on her and tells her to continue. Out of fear, this witch was silent for some time because she could not find words. Later, she expressed her surprise when she realized that the guy was really at level 120. She realized that this is all dangerous, so she decides to make a tactical retreat. The main character sees how very worried she is and is glad that everything is going exactly according to his brilliant plan. While this giant was trying to run back, her legs began to shake violently from excitement. So she stumbled out of the blue and began to fall straight to the ground with a cry, realizing that it was going to hurt. White-haired, seeing this, realized that she was now in a state of severe stress and even more so fell to the ground. So now is his chance to calmly carry out a powerful attack. Running up to the lying giant, Zhao Han uses an S-rank skill. The tiger descended from the mountain. He flies straight into her stomach and she just looks at him in horror, realizing that she has lost. The main character successfully punched through the goddess. He is very pleased with himself because he was able to take her by surprise. And now the life of this smug, unfortunate enemy will come to an end. Next, you can see how the white-haired man, after a hard breakthrough, calmly and very steeply landed on the ground and his level dropped back to 11. The giant even jumped to his feet in surprise. Turning around, the goddess sees a guy who stands with his back to her. She cannot understand what happened and sees that he has the 11th level. She cannot understand how she could make such a mistake. The white-haired man exhaled with relief. He understands that the level 120 illusion lasted only two minutes, but this was enough for him to complete his task. So now he can say goodbye to the goddess Karen. You can notice that a huge hole in the giant's chest makes itself felt. She begins to scream loudly in pain and already collapses. It seems that she is going to leave this world forever. Suddenly, there is a sharp, strong, and huge explosion. It is obvious that it was the goddess Karen who exploded, so she went to another world, which means the main character completed his mission. After Zhao Han defeated such a difficult opponent, some kind of purple crystal fell at his feet. He looks straight at it and seems as if he is going to take it with him. Gao Da Zhuang, seeing that the battle is over and the enemy is finally finished, begins to run up to Zhao Han Yu to see if he is okay. He notices her and is about to give an answer. As a result, these two hugged. The girl is very glad that he coped with it because she almost died of fear. The guy is also pleased with his victory and hugging the girl says that everything is fine with him. While these two were hugging, the main character received a notification from the system. She says that a rare item was received, namely a wishing stone. At first, he did not understand what it was and the pink haired one was simply glad that he was okay. We see this crystal again. The system says that the owner is actually very lucky that he was able to get this wishing stone, and he is already very interested in what this rare item is capable of. Examining the stone, he asks what its advantage is. Later, he finds out that there are nine wishing stones. If he gets them all, he will be able to make his cherished wish. The guy is already thinking about summoning a dragon, but this is impossible. While the main character is examining the stone, he asks the cheerful system where he can get the rest of the stones since there are only nine of them. Apparently, the guy still wants to fulfill his wish. The system assumes that other stones can be found in the Bro City, but before going there, it wants to distribute the rewards. But this process seemed to Zhao Hanyu disgusting. Next, the guy, despite this abomination, holds his nose and with difficulty mustering up courage, takes some object from the system. 
but the system thus spoiled all the good impressions. The main character picks up some card, and the Chinese chat GPT begins to talk about the body of the overlord. This is an updated version of the body. All its attributes are doubled. This continues for a minute. Time increases from level. The minimum required is level 15. Whitehaired puts this card away. He is glad that nothing was hurt during the battle, so he decided to hide this card so as not to lose it in the future. Gao Da Zhuang approaches Zhao Hanyu, with horror on his face, informs him that all members of the group are dead, and asks what they should do next. It is clear that the white-haired man was surprised by this statement. The white-haired one remembered how the goddess Karen said that her friend was in the city of Bra, so they should go there. The pink-haired one remembered about the city of Bra, and was glad that the guy reminded him of it. Despite the death of her comrades, the pink-haired girl still looks quite happy, because it is time for them to move to this city right now to find her best friend there. Events are transferred to the city of Bra. We see a huge arena in which two warriors are fighting right now, watched by a large number of spectators who are rooting for their favorites. We see two girls from the stands who are also watching the battle. It seems that they are in love with a certain Kar Zeus. They do not recognize other warriors, considering Kar's the best and want him to win. Meanwhile, we return again to the main character with the pink-haired girl. They have already arrived in the city and understand that this place is very lively, and you can also watch various fights. Suddenly, someone notices our heroes and apparently saw something unusual in them, so he approaches them and asks if he is new. They took notice of him. It turned out to be some man. He says that these are not demonstration performances, but a competition for the right to study, and very soon the land of the gods will open, into which only 30 people will be able to enter. Then, unexpectedly, this seemingly stern man begins to behave like a little fan in love. He also adores a certain Cars, who has already defeated 11 people and will soon take first place. However, the main character was not even embarrassed by the behavior of this man. He only thought about his own things again. He became interested. Because the Land of the Gods is an extremely rare map. Because of this, he never played on it. The system tells the guy that the Land of the Gods is connected with the Zuer clan. The second wishing stone may be located in the Land of the Gods, Zhao Han clarifies. Whether this means that he will not be able to fight in the arena for a place, the system confirmed this. While a bunch of fans are screaming at the top of their voices and more for their favorites, Gao Dazhuang says Zhao Hanyu wants them to leave here as soon as possible, because it seems to her that there is something wrong with this place. The guy, meanwhile, thought well and with a smile on his face, invites Da Zhuang to take part in the competition together. The pink-haired one didn't like this proposal, so she refused because he doesn't have the courage. The white-haired man begins to beg her. He calls her the best and asks her to fulfill his wish. He says that all you need to do is register. He will do the rest himself. Apparently, the guy's brilliant acting skills again influence this girl. After some time of begging, she agreed. The guy is happy because now he will get into the competition and get his pebble. Gao Da Zhuang approaches some guys and asks where they can register here. They noticed and realized that she was new. They didn't give an answer and don't understand how a low-level magician dared to come. The Zuer clan approaches the girl. He says that they can take part in this tournament. They just need to choose an opponent whom they want to challenge. If they win, they will take his place. Next, we are shown 46 participants in this competition. They can challenge any of them. Right now, you can see how these strong men show how much they love injecting steroids. The main character is determined. He tells the judge of the competition that he will choose an opponent on behalf of the hostess and that he wants to challenge, Gao Da Zhuang looks like he doesn't want to let him go. While Zhao Han was talking with the judge of these competitions, the pink-haired magician meanwhile turned her attention to a participant named Karsu. She looks at him very shocked. We are shown the Karsu himself. He turned out to be a young pink-haired hot guy with a spear, who right now has defeated another enemy and is looking very mysteriously in some direction. Meanwhile, the participants laugh at Da Zhuang, they see a magician of the fifth level and her pet with the third. They think that the pet has problems with his head because he challenges cars, who does not lose. Their ridicule does not embarrass the main character at all, because the one who laughs last laughs best. We learn that he used the stealth stone and fortunately, they did not suspect anything. Zhao Han decides not to waste time. He starts from his place with a sharp movement and understands that if cars loses in battle with him, then Da Zhuang will become the leader and they will secure their place in the land of the gods. The white-haired one continues to fly forward. With his flight, he attracts the attention of other participants in the competition, who raise their heads and silently look at him. Zhao Han wants to participate on behalf of the hostess. The brave and very determined protagonist immediately lands in the arena, right in front of the current champion of this place named Cars. 
the two are about to collide in a fierce battle. The self-confident white-haired man even decided not to say any unnecessary words. He just stopped in one place and began to look at his opponent, inviting him to attack and showing the corresponding hand gesture. Apparently, the pink-haired guy with the spear was very angry about this. He does not understand how some wild animal dares to talk to him in this way, so he raised his weapon with a sword and is about to attack. The rest of the competition participants, along with the spectators, are watching this fight. They really want the car to tear apart the Zhao Hanya to pieces. They also want him to spare no effort and show all his power. Next, the pink-haired man decides not to throw around words too much. He begins to accelerate towards the main character, using the skill C Night Assault, and Zhao Han just stands still. While this Usain Bolt accelerates straight towards the guy, he calls him Level 3 Trash and you can easily see from his eyes that he is ready to tear his opponent into small pieces. Having already jumped straight onto the white-haired one, this self-confident car thinks that he cannot lose. Zhao Han, meanwhile, is tired of waiting for the enemy to reach him and considers him slow. The white-haired one waited for the right moment, and noticing how the enemy got close enough to him, he only with a sly smile on his face kicked the pink-haired one's balls. Enduring severe pain, his face has already contorted. He is very dissatisfied and already thinks that Zhao Han was able to see through his trick, so he should now come up with a new plan. These two continue to stand in front of each other, and each of them is waiting for some action from his opponent. But unexpectedly for everyone, the car simply decides to stick his spear straight into the ground. Squeezing his legs and continuing to endure the pain, the cast, being disgraced in front of the audience, embarrassedly says that this is impossible and this is some kind of mistake. It seems that he is not in the best position right now. The spectators are simply shocked that Mr. Cars lost, because Cars seems to have the eighth level, and this spiritual beast is only the third. They begin to assume that Cars is just playing with his opponent. While the pink-haired one was playing for time, the pain in his balls had already passed. He again decides to get his spear out of the ground. He promises that his opponent will not be so lucky again, because he will not repeat his mistakes. It is clear that this loser is very serious. He even uses the new skill C, a shadow bayonet, and calls on his shadow clones. Even this does not scare the main character, and he just stands there waiting for a better moment. You can see a close-up of Cars' face at this moment. He looks very serious about winning. As time passes, he is getting closer and closer to Zhao Hanyu and is about to strike. Despite the seriousness of his opponent, this white-haired Sigma remains calm. He even praised the Cars move and said that he was very interested to see what would happen. The attack was carried out. You can see how thick smoke formed right next to the main character, apparently consisting of dust. The audience can only watch this and wonder what happened. Gao De Zhuang began to worry a lot about the guy, but she knows that Zhao Han will not lose. The rest of the spectators find it funny, because they think that the spiritual beast lost because he dared to challenge Mr. Cars himself. Further, this smoke begins to subside. The audience holds their breath, watches what is happening, and sees how two figures emerge. The audience, meanwhile, begins to believe that this is the true power of Mr. Cars. The smoke has settled even more, and you can already see someone's face. Apparently, this person is now passed out, and it is not yet clear who exactly this person is, Zhao Hanum or Cars. In the next chapter, we see how the smoke has almost completely settled, and we can now clearly see how the main character holds the losing Mr. Cars in his one hand. He makes it clear to everyone that he has won. He then mercilessly throws the body of his opponent right into a pile of other participants. They only look at him with a surprised face, and the white-haired one, in turn, asks if the place of the car is now his. However, the guy has not yet waited for an answer. People are too surprised to learn that Mr. Cars lost, and also that he lost to a third-level spiritual beast, and this, in their opinion, is simply terrible. Zhao Han with Gao The Da Zhuang approached the judge. He congratulates them on their entry into the land of the gods, but before the seats are distributed, they need to follow him. These two are happy about the victory and are already going to follow him. In the next frame, we see a very sly smile of the judge and two heroes who are very happy about their victory, Apparently, he decides to take advantage of this and, having gained their trust, is going to lead them to a bad place. After a few minutes of long walking, the judge led our heroes straight to the door of some temple and is about to open it so that they can all calmly go inside. Apparently, there is something there. Entering inside, the judge makes it clear that they have already arrived. These two look around and see a huge empty hall, large columns all around, and it is not yet clear what they will do here. The mysterious judge says that it is here. The pink-haired one, I, having examined this room, thinks that it is very beautiful here. And for some reason, the main character fell silent for a while and thought about something. 
The judge looks at the pink-haired girl and says that he has done his job, and now it's time to go back, so the guy and the girl should wait here. Gao Dazhuang understood him and wishes him success. Zhao Han, meanwhile, examines the hall. He approaches the statue and asks the system to determine the location of the wishing stone. The system says that it cannot find out the exact location, but can feel its presence. The white-haired man, looking around this amazing hall, heard the girl's voice. She asked someone how he dared to look at her breasts. The guy turns around to see what happened. Turning around, the main character notices a bad picture of how three participants in this tournament are pestering one girl. They say that they do not look at her cores, and it seemed to her because of her poor eyesight. Over time, these idiots infuriated the poor girl. She promised to show these losers where the crayfish spend the winter and grabbed one of the guys by the neck and lifted him up. The other two were shocked by her strength. Continuing to hold the guy in her hand for a few seconds, she got tired of it all, so she decided to throw him at another guy, and now the two of them flew off and crashed straight into the wall. The third guy was waiting for his turn. You can see how, from the speed of these two hitting directly against the wall, a huge dent was formed in it, and now two guys are lying next to it who are in a state of attack. In fact, it's a pity for the wall. Unexpectedly, this blonde turned out to be Mo Xiaoya. She is a 10th level holy angel. After kicking the bad guy's ass, she understands that it will be better for them, because they will think twice before the next crime. Gao Dazhuang, of course, immediately noticed her best friend, and joyfully ran up to her. Xiaoya also recognized the voice of her best friend. She turned around and was surprised by her presence right here. Like real girlfriends, these two held hands and started jumping with happiness. Mo Xiaoya asks what she is doing here, and also adds that she really missed her friend very much. The main character noticed how, a few meters away from him, two girls were jumping with happiness and talking about something. When he saw the blonde, he assumed that she was her friend. And of course, this fool immediately turned his attention to her large cannonballs. He noticed that they were much larger than those of the Dazhuang, and wondered what this could mean for him. Mo Xiaoya, of course, saw how another bastard was looking at her cores. She looked very dissatisfied, and apparently right now she would kick the ass of another fool guy who was looking in the wrong place. Zhao Han continues to watch her and imagine how he is having fun together. Meanwhile, you can hear the voice of the blonde. She is just waiting for something for her friend, because she has unfinished business. She realized that there was one more bastard left. The white-haired one realized that now they wanted to kick him, and that's why he managed to tense up a little and no longer knows what to do because he was caught. Next week in Xiaoya can't stand it and begins to accelerate towards the guy in order to deliver her powerful blow, with which she killed the previous guys, the guy is scared, and the pink-haired one is worried about him. It can be seen how this abnormal thing has already managed to reach him, out of desperation. He puts a block in front of him which is hit by her difficult blow. She still remains very serious. It is not difficult now to understand that the Zhao block Kanya didn't really help him, but the blow hit his hands instead of his face, after which the guy simply flew several meters back, realizing that she was not to be trifled with. After receiving the blow, the white-haired man flew several meters at high speed until he was stopped by a blow directly against the wall. It was clear that it hurt him that he even screamed slightly. But even such a thrashing was not enough for her. She again ran up to the helpless white-haired man and raising her leg asked to wait for Dajuang because she wanted to deal with this bad guy. Mai Jiaoya was about to deliver her crushing blow, but in time she was able to hear the voice of her best friend, who asked her to stop and stop hitting the guy. She stopped her foot right in front of his face. She continues to stand in her suspicious position with her leg raised. She really wanted to hit the bad guy, but her friend stopped her. Meanwhile, Zhao Han watches her carving in shock. Turning to the pink-haired one, she asks what happened and whether she knows him. Da Zhuang says that Xiaoya was mistaken, because this is her spiritual beast and he is not a bad guy. At first, she didn't believe the words of the pink-haired girl. Then she looks at this guy who sat down like a fool and began to meow like some kind of cat, confirming the words of the pink-haired girl. As proof, he invites her to look at his animal ears because only animals can have them, and to sound more convincing, he decides to meow realistically again. It is clear that the protagonist's evidence was quite plausible for her. She decides to ask him for forgiveness, regretting what she did for a few minutes and began stroking him. While the blonde continues to pet this animal, he decides to take advantage of such a wonderful moment and hugs her tightly, resting his face right in the huge cannonballs, like Mo Xiaoya doesn't even mind. Meanwhile, while the white-haired man hugs her, he gets incredible pleasure from this, enjoying the moment. He understands that she turns out to be very trusting and he actually likes it. Zhao Han realized that it was time to let the girl go. Then the blonde notices that the bells rang, which means that the competition is over. Gao Dajuang is very surprised that the competition ended so quickly. 
The joyful blonde tells Da Zhuang that it's time for them to go. She also says that if she got the right to enter the waiting room, then she has become the winner. She also leads the team with which they will go to the lands of the gods. The pink-haired girl listened carefully to her best friend. She understood what and how, and with a smile on her face, she made it clear to her friend that she now understood absolutely everything. Next, we see a flying ship. We also learn that flying on this flying ship is the only way to get to the lands of the gods. Obviously, getting there is not easy. We see these three guys. Mo Xiaoya tells them that very soon they will be able to see the gates of the void, which are considered a passage straight to the lands of the gods. The pink-haired one is happy about this, and the guy does not show emotions yet. They show more people who are very happy right now. They heard that this is a pretty impressive sight, so most likely they will like it, and they talk about the lands of the gods. We are again shown the main character, who remains serious. He sees how everyone is discussing the lands of the gods, and those who go there are very happy about this. So he understands that this place is very exciting. Continuing to fly on this ship, they all manage to get straight to the gate, which is the entrance directly to the lands of the gods. The passengers of the ship noticed this and were very amazed at what they saw. Suddenly, while everyone was enjoying the video of these gorgeous golden gates and didn't think anything bad, Mo Xiaoya has discovered a threat. She says that a void storm is coming, so everyone better prepare. You can pay attention to how some kind of ball lightning seems to be forming next to the ship. The girl apparently was scared for good reason, and they can cause great damage to them, as well as to the ship itself. A bunch of lightning starts striking right at the ship. People don't understand what it is and why it started so unexpectedly. They ask each other to be careful, and the deck of the ship is already starting to crack. Lightning never stops striking the ship. People all around just endure it. Because they can't do anything yet, they start running in different directions and ask each other for help. The blonde starts screaming right across the entire deck and tells all the people that things are very bad for them. Because they got into the very center, the pink-haired one is very scared and she covered her eyes. The white-haired one seems to be calm. Next, Zhao Han, being a real Sigma, runs up to the two girls and hugs them. He asks them not to worry about anything because everything seems to be fine with them since he is nearby. Meanwhile, while the main character is hugging the girls, a huge portal appears in the sky, which right now is going to suck them inside and move them to some unknown place. Apparently, the portal was still able to suck them in, after which it moved them to a completely different place, and they fell onto the roof of the building, and you can see the sun in the sky again, which means everything is calm. It turned out that they even broke through a solid roof with their behavior. This can be understood by the large debris all around. Zhao Han, in turn, still continued to hold the girls so that they would not harm themselves. The pink-haired girl was very worried about Zhao Kanya and asks if he's okay. He somehow says yes, but Mo Xiaoya smiles, believing that her pet is very useful, since thanks to him, they are alive. While these three were lying on the ground and coming to their senses, just like the morning after the new year, some large creature appeared in front of them. They immediately turned their attention to it and do not yet know its intentions. It turned out that this monster is a huge goat that walks on two legs and has very long and sharp claws on its hands. It is obvious that everything is not so calm in this place. In the next chapter, the trio continues to look at a huge goat holding a sword in its hands. Looking at it, they cannot find words to describe their condition because its appearance keeps them in fear. Next, we can see a very crazy smile of this monster. From it, we can understand that he is ready to tear them all apart with his sharp claws and sword, so they better prepare. The goat quickly approached them and was already swinging his sword, while he made the same sounds that ordinary goats make. This mutant is already about to strike, so the main character needs to take action. The mutant tried to strike directly at Gao Da Zhuang. However, someone was able to catch the goat's weapon. It is clear that the pink-haired one is very scared, and she wants to get out of this damned place as soon as possible. It turned out that the enemy's sword was caught by her spiritual beast. He tells her about his intentions to protect her, and asks her to stand behind him. Meanwhile, the blonde watches this and admires the guy's courage. The white-haired man got tired of holding his enemy's sword above him, so he simply pushed the enemy away and struck him with his own blow, causing him to lie helplessly on the ground, and apparently he had already lost. The main character is disgusted to look at his disgusting face, so he threw the body of the defeated enemy away from himself and the girls, just like he strikes a football sword, causing the goat to fly far into the wall. While the guy stood still and rejoiced at how cool he was, some secret box suddenly began to open behind him. But it was not yet clear what exactly was hidden inside it. Zhao Han turns around and sees in front of him this very box, which has already opened slightly and began to smoke. Lightning is also emanating from it. These people cannot understand what is happening. The guy was going to inspect this box because it seemed strange to him that it was all because of the equipment that had failed. 
Xiaoya stops him in time, because the land of the gods itself is a strange place. So it's better not to touch it. The stupid guy decided not to listen to the girl's warning, so he simply stuck his hand into this box because, in his opinion, there is nothing to be afraid of, since it is just a pile of boxes. He does not even think that there is anything valuable. The blonde has already decided not to even interfere in his affairs, because this is the choice of the white-haired one, so she just silently watches as Zhao Han continues to pick there with his hand, trying to find something. Meanwhile, while the main character continued to pick his hand in this box, Something strange happened and it was as if lightning was raging in the box, which could strike them. The blonde, who had previously only silently watched the guy, suddenly rushes up to him from behind and hugs him. He doesn't understand what's happening, and she just wants to look at these processes, not understanding how this can happen. While these two were hugging, suddenly the girl and the guy are struck by lightning. The white-haired strongman endures pain and does not make a sound. But the girl screamed slightly in pain. But judging by her appearance, it seems that she is screaming because of something else. Meanwhile, Gao Dazhuang turned her attention to this. Realizing that things were very bad, she uses her purification ability because there was lightning in this box due to which they both received an electric shock. You can see how they continue to be shocked from all this energy. The blonde is thrown back from the guy several meters, and you can see how she is already in flight. Apparently, she regrets that she approached him. From the outside, you can see how these two have become separated from each other and seem to be lying unconscious. And Da Zhuang is apparently in shock now and looking at her friends, she simply doesn't know what to do. The pink-haired girl understands that they were almost electrocuted. She also doesn't understand how they put lightning in boxes in this place. Mo Xiaoya reminds us that the lands of the gods have their own oddities, so they just have to get used to it. The blonde is glad that she doesn't even have to change clothes after this. Meanwhile, she drew attention to the main character, who, having stepped aside, only silently began to engage in muning. While the others in this room were busy with their important affairs, the pink-haired one was able to find a way out of here. She attracts the attention of her friends and shows them the direction towards the door. The brave Zhao Han grabs the girls by the hands and hurries them, because he wants to see what is there. He came to the lands of the gods for the Wishing Stone, so they should be the first to get there. The events are again transferred to a large arena, in which fierce battles take place, the spectators are sitting in their stands, and we see, apparently, a certain king sitting above the rest of the spectators. The main character arrived at this place together with the girls, the blonde. Looking around, still can't understand what kind of place this is. Gao Dajuang still looks around, and thoughtful and uncertain, says that this is a labyrinth. We see the horned character himself. He turned out to be the leader of the sheep, who is right now at level 13. His servants brought him some towels, and in the meantime, he noticed that three people came to them today. The leader decides not to engage in unnecessary chatter, so without wasting time, he set his subordinates against these people. The main character and the girls are already going to take this fight, because they are always ready. One of the goats attacks my Xiaoya. He swung his sharp sword at her, but she managed to parry his blow. At this moment, this madman says that animals will never become slaves. You can see how the girl continues to push this goat forward, trying to find the right moment to carry out her attack, but she still can't do it, and they have already walked some distance. Next, the blonde is already tired of all these games, so she decides to drive him away like a real animal. She just gave him a kick in the ass, from which he flew high into the sky and began to look helpless. After this, satisfied with my Xiaoya, turning to Da Zhuang, tells her to stay here because she is going to go and kick the boss's ass, and without wasting any time, she flew on her wings straight to him. Meanwhile, the main character looks at the blonde flying away. He knows that Gao is next to her Da Zhuang and therefore tells her that her friend is quite brave. The pink-haired one completely agrees with his opinion. Meanwhile, while these two are communicating with each other, Xiaoya throws away all the goats on her way to the boss. When approaching, she already uses skill C, namely Divine Blow, to quickly finish him off. The leader of the sheep does not panic at all. Despite what she does to his subordinates, he just smiles in her eyes and does not understand how she dared to use the blade against his people. The girl tensed slightly. The leader hit the naughty girl with his hoof, causing her to fly far back. He says that you can't do something like that in front of him, so let her now know her place and not repeat this again. Xiaoya flew quite a long distance from this blow and landed near her friends. The pink-haired one worries about her and asks if she is okay. The white-haired one also looks at her and understands that the leader is going to kick the other's ass. Sheep decides to take advantage of the moment while the three are heavily distracted and begins to launch his sharp attack, apparently intending to catch these weak losers by surprise and win the fight. 
Meanwhile, the blonde has already managed to come to her senses. She asked Da Zhuang to run because the boss is too strong, so they won't be able to cope with him, pink-haired. It's clear that she's not going to leave her best friend. The mad leader of the sheep heard their dialogue and saw that they were thinking too long. So when he got close enough to them, this madman waved his sword and said that they would stay here forever. Mo Xiaoya looks at how the boss waved his sword and is about to deal a crushing blow to them. Strong excitement is visible in her eyes, and she already thinks that this is the end for them, because the enemy is too strong. A gigachad suddenly appears in the form of Zhao Hanya. He not only caught a large sword, but also right by its sharp part. The leader was very surprised by this turn, just like the girls behind the main character. The sheep opened its mouth wide in surprise. It was very surprised that the main character was able to stop another powerful blow, and with just one hand, he did not consider it impossible. The white-haired man continues to hold the blade of this weakling and already feels like he is dominating him, so he decides to mock the sheep a little and tells him that he won't even be able to cut his nails with such a blade. The guy got tired of just standing and holding this sword above him. He decides to teach this leader a lesson so that he knows how to run into him and his friends. So he pushed him far back, rubbing himself on the ground and leaving a huge mark there. It is clear that the leader of the sheep is very frightened, because in his opinion the guy is only at the third level. He does not understand how he could not withstand his blow, because personally his level is much higher than that of the guy. Meanwhile, the girls are watching this scene. Mo Xiaoya is very surprised and asks Da Zhuang where she got it, because he is too cool, the pink-haired one. Remembering all the strange things that happened in the forest, says from a friend that it happened by accident. The blonde says that the boss has level 13, and Xiaoya has level 10, but she still couldn't defeat him. The guy heard this and says that he has level 11 and all the attributes of a master's body, so he can challenge him. Smart Zhao Han realizes that if they finish off this boss, he can possibly move on, so he needs to quickly deal with him, and he is already flying with a sword straight at the frightened leader. Watching a man fly towards him, who in his opinion was too weak, the leader is greatly surprised that his will is suppressed before his power and might, and he cannot do anything about it. He sees how the main character is getting closer and closer to him, but he can't fight back, he's very worried and tries to come up with some kind of plan as soon as possible so that Zhao Han doesn't finish him off. The leader quickly came up with some kind of brilliant plan. He abruptly knelt down and bowed his head in front of the main character. He begs with tears in his eyes for the guy to have mercy and not kill him. The main character initially wanted to simply finish off this boss in order to move forward, but he could never have expected such a turn of events and the fact that he would decide to ask for mercy. So the guy is now at a loss. The leader noticed that he was still alive and, turning to the guy, told him that his clan had lived here for several generations. They were subjected to punishment and humiliation every day, so he did not understand what they needed from them. Despite the fact that Zhao Han listened to this leader, he is still completely perplexed. He cannot understand what this sheep is talking about, and apparently he will have to tell it all in more detail. The leader asks the guy not to pretend and believes that he is at the same time with them. Supposedly they burned, killed, took prisoners, but he didn't do anything wrong. He just wanted to show that their people are ready to resist. This leader's behavior aroused great pity in the white-haired man, and now it's even hard for him to finish him off. Despite the fact that it seems like he should have done it anyway, the guy is wondering what will happen next. While the guy was thinking about something of his own, the leader suddenly noticed bad people in the distance and realized that now everything would be bad again. The white-haired man turned in the same direction to check what happened there. Zhao Kan just can't understand who the sheep leader is so afraid of all the time. He is trying to peer into the distance right now to understand what is happening there and who is going to attack him. Then you can see how the two of them peer into the distance and see several strange dark figures that are about to start moving straight towards them. The white-haired one does not yet know what this means. We are shown those same figures, but in close-up. While it is still not clear who these creatures are and it seems that they need to get closer so that it becomes possible to see them. In the next chapter, we had the opportunity to look at these very bad guys. They turned out to be some informals, and they already paid attention to the main character along with two girls, realizing that they were new. The guy who doesn't know about the existence of t-shirts decides to get straight to the point. The guy with glasses says that quite a lot of time has passed and makes it clear to these pathetic yagnats that it's time to collect taxes from them. It can be seen that the leader was already scared. Zhao Han paid attention to these clowns and does not believe that those people whom the leader is afraid of, he does not yet understand what they are going to do and assumes that they want to taste the lamb. One of the sadists among this group of people pounces on a helpless lamb and with a very crazy face begins to tear off all its wool. The sheep only bleats helplessly because it cannot do anything. It can be seen how several sheep fell under the hot hand at once. 
these sadists tearing off the wool from them, saying that their hair curling efficiency is too low, so they have no use for this wool. Whitehaired turned his attention to the actions of these knackers. He realized that these people were real villains, so the leader was right about them, because the guy was personally convinced of what these monsters were capable of. The blonde also looked at their actions. Standing behind the main character, she thought a little, because it seems strange to her that it seems to her that their eyes seem to be burning. It can be seen how these abnormal people have already collected a large amount of wool, stripping several sheep and leaving them with nothing. They take away this very wool in baskets and promise to return again, because they receive high-quality raw materials. Further, it can be noted that Zhao Hanyu is tired of just standing and watching the actions of these villains. He says that the sheep can contact the Animal Protection Association and sue them. The hippie with glasses didn't like the guy's insolence. He put the basket of wool on the ground and tries to find out from the guy who he is. Because the affairs of the F4 wool factory are under the wing of the government, Zhao Han is shocked by this. And then Mo Xiaoya remembered something, namely that there are four gods, rain, thunder, wind, and electricity in the land of the gods, and the F4 wool factory is somehow connected with the gods in this world, and it could be dangerous for them. Next, the blonde decides to stand between the main character and these freaks. She begins to laugh awkwardly and says that there was a small misunderstanding. It is clear that she is afraid for her life and the lives of her friends. She tells the guy her name and that she is an escort from the Zuer clan. They received a letter asking for help, so they brought adventurers here. The guy says that this is just in time because they could use help. Whitehaired noticed this and his eyes sparkled with happiness. When he learned that non-player characters are capable of issuing quests, he hopes that he can receive a wishing stone when completing the quest. Ujo Hanya's eyes are still shining with joy. He turns around and turns to Da Zhuang, saying that he needs to hurry up and complete the task. She listened to him carefully and understood what exactly he wants. Next, the pink-haired girl raises her hand and tells people that she is ready to accept their task. The main character finds the girl quite pleasant and active, and he expresses his satisfaction with a thumbs up. It can be seen that they have already begun the task, and it was these people who entrusted them with the work with wool. The guy is not very happy, but the girl seems to be happy. Zhao Han understands that they also need to hurry up in order to get everything done. Over time, the white-haired man got tired of kneading sheep's wool. He simply threw away the huge needle, saying that he was here to get the desire stone, and he was not interested in anything else. These informals were shocked by his behavior. Baldi tells him that he works in a meteorological workshop and is responsible for producing weather phenomena. Recently, there is a shortage of goods, and this could lead to climate problems. The white-haired man makes it clear to this man that the shortage of goods does not concern him, because he came here only for the wishing stone. Someone noticed the guy's intentions and asked him to stop. Violet-haired transmits Zhao Hanyu says something, and says that he understands that the guy expected more, but asks if he will complete another task, and this is a more important task. The main character wonders what this task is. He must deliver the transport team safe and sound to the seaport after successfully completing the mission. A mysterious S-rank reward awaits him, but this offer has already interested him. It turned out that this blue notebook is a route map, the purple-haired one says that the team is leaving in two hours. The white-haired one understands that he may not receive the wishing stone at all, but he will receive an S-rank reward. Two hours later, all events are already transferred directly to the forest. We see two carts and a bunch of people nearby who, apparently, accompany the goods or the people who are inside them. Among these dangerous people, we can also observe the main character along with the girls. Zhao Hanyu finds this strange because why would he accompany them if they look very formidable? One of the guys turns to him and asks if he is a newcomer. The white-haired one confirmed this and says that it is his first time participating in such a mission. The blue-haired one says that looters are hunting for this batch of goods. Zhao Hanyu wonders what kind of marauders these are. The blue-haired one says this is a group of criminals who often rob caravans. Over the past year, they were robbed a large number of times, and they were never able to deliver the goods. After the answer from the menacing guy, the white-haired man spreads his arms in different directions in bewilderment because before that, he thought that this was some kind of terrifying guy, but it turned out that this was a whole group. After all these strange thoughts, the main character continued to silently accompany the caravan, but suddenly his attention was attracted by someone's voice. This person was finally glad that he had found this caravan. It turned out that this is a marauder, namely Sun Wuji, and she has level 13. She tells everyone that if their lives are dear to them, then let them pay money and look for a handsome man for themselves, paying attention to the new one. The white-haired man already thought that she was asking about him. When she saw the guy, the girl pounced on him, sensing his pleasant aroma from her body, 
she apparently had not smelled fresh meat for a long time. This scene was also noticed by the blue-haired man, who warns the guy that he should stay away from her because she is a marauder. Meanwhile, he brandished his sword and was about to strike. This fighting woman, seeing how a formidable guy with a weapon was running towards her, was not at all confused. She only charged her hand with some energy and delivered a strong blow to his face, from which he flew off. The red-haired woman gets off her horse, after which it turned out that she was not alone at all, and gave the order to her people that they killed all the women and sent the men to her room. Let's hope that nothing will crack. The obedient subordinates were waiting for an order from their chief. They immediately ran out when they heard her. The guards of this caravan noticed this and began to prepare for battle, because this party cannot be lost. The first two marauders ran up to the two guards on their horses, and directly from them they struck with their swords, from which the accompanying caravan received mortal wounds and would now fall. Gao Da Zhuang saw this whole nightmare that the looters are creating. She cannot just stand and watch ordinary people being robbed. So she uses her magic and summons ice crystals, directing them in their direction. The crystals fly straight into the faces of the villains and disorient them. Meanwhile, you can see how Xiaoya cut off a horse's hoof with her sword. She protects this product because it is needed to maintain a normal climate. It is clear that Sun Wuji lost her temper when she saw that these people were resisting and killing their people. She thinks that they want death, as if otherwise she would definitely spare them. Next, the guy decides to attract the woman's attention by touching her shoulders. She turns around in bewilderment, and the cool Zhao Han tells her that he forgot to say that this batch of goods belongs to him. The cool main character, after these words, suddenly throws the red-haired straight side of the tree. With just one movement of his hand, she hit herself and it hurt her, so he let her know that he was not going to give up the goods. His familiar blue-haired man with a beaten face crawls up to the white-haired one. This lucky guy saw this cool scene and doesn't understand what Zhao Han did. Apparently, he thinks that the looters won't just leave it. The rest of the marauding gang don't understand how the white-haired man can do this to their sister, so it's clear that they are angry and are already going to finish this guy off for his bad actions. But as expected, these marauders are not strong enough to be equal opponents for Zhao Khan, so he took out his sword and quickly walked over the bodies with it, knocking them off their horses. After these actions on the part of the main character, the girls only blushed. It felt like they would get incredible pleasure from the guy's actions, because right now they were just moaning. A serious guy after landing on the ground, hears how someone began to praise his good blow. He looks in the direction where this voice came from to understand who said it. Looking behind him, he found no one. Then he decided to check what was going on above his head and saw Sun Wuji, who was doing a somersault over him and, noticing his gaze, called him handsome. In the next chapter, it turned out that the woman did a somersault for a reason. But in order to shoot the guy from her fingers because she did not like his domineering appearance, Zhao Han is now at a loss. The dexterous protagonist dodged this shot, but he was very surprised because this shot during a somersault was quite impressive and made a good impression on him. After dodging, the white-haired man began to look at the beam that flew in front of them. When it already touched the ground, an explosion occurred and a huge heart began to grow, which affected the people with horses. Next, we see a bunch of girls who fell under the influence of this shot. Apparently, this is some kind of super horny weapon because they felt a little hot. They felt the breath sliding over their body and it was very pleasant. The main character and the other guys noticed the behavior of the girls from this shot. They are very pleased to watch them and Zhao Han considers these abilities simply wonderful and very cool. However, despite the coolness of his abilities, the main character is glad that he was not caught because otherwise he would have looked something like this, attached and just as deeply in love with this red-haired fighting woman. Sun Wuji believes that the guy may have amazing agility, but his vigilance leaves much to be desired. Calling him a weakling, she is going to stab him right in the back while he is not expecting it. However, unexpectedly, Zhao Han managed to turn around sharply and with lightning speed grabbed the woman's hand. He asks for forgiveness from her and says that she will have to take back her words. Because she is the only weakling, the red-haired one does not believe in what is happening. Taking advantage of her helplessness, the white-haired man turned her to the side and dealt her a strong blow, hoping that after this she would definitely leave them behind and leave the goods alone. However, after such a blow, looking at the woman's face, one gets the feeling that she, on the contrary, got pleasure from it, and apparently she will now ask the guy to repeat his dirty tricks. Sun Wuji. I was very struck by the high strength of the main character. She hasn't had such pleasure for a long time, and now enjoys every second spent next to him and doesn't want to stop. Then she gained strength and got to her feet, telling the white-haired man that she wanted to get a couple more juicy blows, Zhao Han, meanwhile, was shocked that there were too many people here with dirty thoughts. 
The guy has never encountered such a request from someone, but like a real daddy, he throws her to the ground with a deft throw and is about to begin fulfilling her very strange request. He pinned this masochist to the ground and, raising his fist up, warned her that he would now start pounding her, and she had been waiting for this for the last few minutes, so it was time for him to start. The main character begins to deal a series of blows to Sun Wuji, while he still considers this strange. Watching this scene, it will not be difficult to understand that they could make a good and prosperous family. This was not enough for her, and, at her request, she received an even stronger blow. Having received a blow in the face, she considers the main character simply a wonderful man and has already begun to adore him greatly. It can be seen how after this beating, of course, at her request, she remains lying on the ground and is very grateful to the guy. She says that she remembered him and apparently wants to repeat this somehow in the future. Zhao Han stood over the satisfied woman, who apparently had already fallen asleep. He was glad that he was able to survive all these oddities and already thinks that he has won, because it seems like the head is simply lying on the ground. Then the whole group of the guy begins to rejoice, because a spiritual beast of the third level defeated an enemy with a thirteenth level. The rest of the marauders, seeing that their leader lost, run away and are going to tell a certain cull about the defeat. Girls approach Zhao Hanyu to examine him. Xiaoya calls him amazing and asks him to teach her his techniques. Gao Dajuang looks at the white-haired man with admiring eyes, and hearing his friend's question, says that it is a matter of talent. After some time, the group notices that the weather has already begun to deteriorate. And of course, this is all not good. They understand this very well, so it's time for them to take action. Bluehaired says that they began to look for shelter before everything leads to disaster. They need to send clouds, wind, and rain to the sea as soon as possible. The people pushing the cart agree with his words. Half an hour later, the caravan arrived at a certain factory. The leader tells the others that they have arrived, so it's time to place the goods in the container. People from the group heard his words and are going to carry out the order. We see how the blue-haired man approaches some panel. He tries to type characters and says that each area has its own digital code. The goods will be automatically taken away as soon as they enter the correct code. A few seconds later, the guy entered the correct digital code. Looking up, he saw that black smoke was beginning to emanate from one of the works, which usually negatively affects the environment. However, this smoke turned out to be unusual. It filled the entire night sky after which it began to rain. Apparently, it has useful properties in this land of the gods, and this is very cool. Joyful protagonists together with Gao Dajuang and Mo Xiaoya look at how the rain is dripping on them. The white-haired man did not think that the lands of the gods were exactly like this. He considers all these events simply amazing. After some time, their joy is interrupted by some sounds from the workshop. The white-haired one realizes that there is someone there, and the blonde even hears the sounds of battle from there. The pink-haired one looks at this and does not understand what is happening. Zhao Han remembered that he had not even received his reward yet, so accelerating to the maximum possible speed for him, he was going to run into the workshop. In order to prevent confusion there, the girls would follow him. Suddenly a fire begins to burn around our heroes. They are all perplexed, but Zhao Han looks very unhappy, because apparently he thinks that he is late and will no longer be able to collect his reward. Then they all stopped, seeing some people. They demand to give them the keys to the warehouse, otherwise they will have to take action. Zhao Han Yu felt funny, because he didn't think that the gods would look like that. We see familiar informals. The purple-haired ones blame the third for everything, one of them believes that he would have dealt with these dudes if he had not spent all his energy yesterday, while the other one actually wants to go to the restroom. Once again, there was an opportunity to see cars. Someone from his group says that he was tired of chatter, so it would be easier for them to just kill them to take the keys. Cars, of course, agrees with their opinion. Just the pink-haired one wanted to accelerate towards a group of informals. When someone cut off his spear with one sharp movement, he fell off his feet and, in complete shock, looks at his broken spear. It turned out that it was Zhao Han. He, turning to cars, says that they are acting too cruelly because he has not yet collected his reward, so let him not get in here for now. Wait for his turn. Further, obviously, cars received another kick right in his stomach. The blow was strong enough that blood gushed from his mouth. The pink-haired one was now having a bad time. In the next frame, you can see the consequences of this blow. This loser flew tens of meters back, leaving a deep, long hole in the ground. He was stopped by a wall, and his friends were scared. The main character noticed that these three losers are now scared to death. So in order to put pressure on them, he pointed his sharp blade in their direction and shows who is in charge. Zhao Han stands in front of these villains with a very menacing look and with a confident stance. He says that if any of them dares to oppose him, he will immediately finish him off. 
Cars lying on the floor looks at the guy and does not understand why he is here right now. He assumes that he also signed an agreement with Mr. Kulu to plunder the workshop. And then suddenly one of the giants decides to attack the main character. Someone noticed this. And from this person we learn that this is one of the fire giants of Mr. Kulu. The white-haired one will now have to fight. Giga Chad one bit. He just looks at this giant and thinks about a certain Mr. Kulu because he has heard this name several times before, but does not yet know what it can mean. The next chapter shows how Zhao Hanya is already starting to get annoyed by all this, just like the name Kulu. So with a calm attitude, he takes out his sword to kick the fire giant's ass. He is confident in his abilities. Further, you can see how the main character did not doubt his abilities for nothing. He turned out to be strong enough to use his toothpick to cut a huge fiery giant in the butt, just like a sausage. After this, the second giant notices what happened to his friend, so he decides to avenge him and is about to strike the main character with his sword because he is already tired of this bug. White-haired, seeing how the second fire giant decided to attack him, begins to spin strongly in different directions, forming some kind of energy that will now help him very well in battle. You can see how he begins to chop down these giants at high speed, inflicting various blows on them with his sword. The blows are quite heavy, so these big losers don't have a single chance against Zhao Hanya. People watching this realize that size does not matter. The guy on the left is already thinking about retreating from here and turning to the captain of the car. Wants to know his opinion? The guy on the right says that they have already arrived, so there is no need to leave empty-handed. Mo Xiaoya turns to cars and asks what this means because she helped them, and they do this. He says that they, as players, carry out tasks. Goods from the warehouse can be exchanged for equipment and gold coins from Mr. Kulu. Unexpectedly for this group, Mo Xiaoya lost her temper. She said that the land of the gods is one of the sacred places of the Zuer clan. If someone dares to speak out against it, then this person should not expect mercy. The guy saw the intentions of this blonde. The warrior with glasses understands that things are already very bad and tells Cars about this. He invites them all to run away from here as quickly as possible because if they stay, it will be hard for them. While the girl continued her dialogue with these bad guys, she suddenly noticed something in the sky. Judging by the expression on her face, it was something serious and very dangerous for her. We see this picture from the side. This object turned out to be some kind of ball lightning. While the girl, greatly surprised, looked at this accumulation of energy, Cars and her gang had already managed to escape from this place. This ball of energy shoots lightning right into my Xiaoya. She felt pain and flew back screaming, straight towards the main character who saw this and began to worry about her. He took the frightened girl in his arms and apparently turned his attention to the same object. From there comes a voice that laughs at them, saying that some ants dared to stand in his way. It turned out that this is the Kulu himself. Riding a bear, this guy has level 18, and his identity is unknown in order to look more convincing. He came here with various monsters and says that this place belongs to him. Meanwhile, a gang of informals turned their attention to the Kulu. They realized that he was playing against them. They were flexing their fists and were going to show the full strength of their four. They already thought that the end had come for the Kulu. The four believe that everyone owes it to them to just see what they can do when put together. So without much thought, they decide to attack the Kula to show him who's boss. Kulu noticed that four workshop workers dared to engage in battle with him. He believed that they wanted their own speedy death, and therefore, without any problems, he fired lightning in their direction. Despite all the power of the Kulu, one of the workers is not going to give up. He says that they have already received a blessing, and in general, long live the workers. Having uttered these words, the worker has already encountered lightning. By the way this worker's face contorted, one could say that he was not prepared for such a turn of events and experienced severe pain. Perhaps this will be enough for him to change his mind about continuing his strong attack. After this electric shock, this man falls to the ground already completely exhausted. He believes that he worked too much because of this he cannot fight right now. His friends saw this strange scene and began to worry about him. Kulu considers himself the coolest in the whole wide world. Since he defeated an ordinary worker by insulting these workers with a bunch of garbage, he cannot even believe how they were entrusted with the protection of local treasures. The main character sees three workers gathered near his exhausted friend, so he tells them that they can't die yet because he hasn't received his reward. The workers think Zhao Hanya is quite caring. The purple-haired guy noticed that the guy couldn't calm down, and everything was just his reward, so to calm him down, he simply threw the reward in his direction with a tired look, but he didn't even know if the guy would need it. Zhao Han is glad that he received the stone, and thinks that it is a wishing stone. The system says that it is an S-rank electric stone. If you build it into a weapon, you can activate a critical strike of thunder and lightning plus 10 to the attack. 
Cole is already tired of conducting a useless dialogue with these strange people. He does not want to waste any more time, and having unleashed an army of his monsters, he says that they should give him the workshop, and then no one will get hurt. Whitehaired noticed that there are too many monsters and they can simply devour him. The system noticed that he needs help, and says that all these monsters are slaves whom the Kulu forced to work. If you establish contact with them, perhaps they will be for him. It turned out that the system really helped the guy well with its valuable advice. He got an idea, he realized what needed to be done, and was already going to apply his knowledge and practice. Meanwhile, the blue monster was already close. Zhao Han again cuts down his acting skills. He begins to cry like a child, standing with his back to the monsters, despite the fact that the monsters had already gotten close enough and were about to eat him. Starting to cry even more, the white-haired man does not understand why they are forced to become a tool of people. Meanwhile, the monsters begin to remember something from their lives and look at the main character in bewilderment. The monsters begin to communicate with each other. They understand that this guy is also a beast. One of them understands that he is a spiritual beast of a person and also acts as a tool for people. They understand that they should not disgrace themselves by killing their own. The main character, noticing that the beast has already stopped, understands that this is his chance and, taking the red flag in his hands, attracts their attention to himself. Because he has a message, he tells the animals that it is time to stop being slaves. From the behavior of these monsters, it is clear that they have long wanted to make this revolution. It is clear that they are full of determination and are going to rebel against their master and finally become completely free beings. Leading the uprising, Zhao Hun tells the monsters that the time has come to defend their freedom for both glory and freedom. They must go forward right now and destroy their master. Meanwhile, the coolie looks puzzled. A gang of informals is watching this whole scene. Firstly, it is clear that everything is fine with their friend, and secondly, they are all very surprised by what they see, because they did not know that this could be done. Meanwhile, Gao Dajuang, together with Mo Xiaoya, is also watching what is happening. The blonde is surprised by the guy's brilliant move, and the pink-haired, she says that Zhao Han is very smart, and she likes her more and more. Kulu, noticing how all his monsters headed after him, got angry because they dared to go against him. He is not at all going to run away in fear. He is going to punish them right here and now for their bad behavior. The main character with a red flag in his hands, despite the serious attitude of the Kulu, orders all the monsters to attack him and finish him off. They are determined and, like him, are not going to retreat. The monsters got close enough to the bad guy. He called them a bunch of scum, already started cutting them left and right, and started with this poor monster, which he cut into two halves. Then he quickly switched to the rest of the monster, and still with one movement of his sword chopped them in half, it is clear that he is very angry, and wishes them all a speedy death for their alleged betrayal. Meanwhile, Zhao Han is very happy. Because his plan worked, he hopes that the villain will quickly exhaust himself, and then after that he will be able to enter into battle and take some measures against him. Next you can see how the Kulu is already finishing off the last huge monsters. They scatter in different directions, and the white-haired one continues to stand and wait until the villain is exhausted in order to join the battle and punish him for everything. Having finished off the last monsters, the Kulu suddenly for Zhao Hanya notices that he stood aside all this time and only watched, so he flies towards him, intending to kick his ass, and the white-haired man does not understand how they could see through his brilliant plan. The villain quickly overtakes the main character and stabs him with his powerful magic sword. Kulu says Zhao Hanyu that he has more experience than the white-haired one, and the spiritual beast in turn, after the blow begins to spit blood. 